Hi, I'm Audrey Durand from Creatis Laboratory of Lyon University in France. I'm going to present you a work that was done in collaboration with Sherbrooke University about prostate lesion segmentation by aggressivity in MRI with an attention model. MP MRI has become a standard in prostate cancer detection. However, characterizing prostate lesions in MP MRI sequences is time demanding and challenging. That's why computer-aided detection and diagnostic systems are being developed. There is a need to detect cancer and predict the, their aggressiveness for the clinical outcome, active surveillance, or focal therapy. The vast majority of developed CAN models focus on the detection and segmentation of clinically significant cancers. There is a need to go one step further by also predicting the degree of prostate cancer aggressiveness, referred to as Gleason score. In this work, we propose a novel end-to-end -end deep architecture called ProstateMotionNet. It automatically performs segmentation of the prostate peripheral zone and uses this zonal prior as an attention gate for the detection and grading of lesions of the peripheral zone. The encoder of four networks first encodes the information from multi-channel T2 weighted and IDC input images into a latent space. This latent representation is then connected to two decoding branches. The first one performs the binary PZ segmentation, and the second one performs semantic segmentation of the image into seven classes, one for background, one from PZ, and five corresponding to the different grading of PZ lesions. The output probabilistic map of the PZ decoder serves as a soft attention map to the lesion decoder branch. The idea here is to enforce the tumor prediction to be within the PZ by shutting down the neurons located outside the PZ. The backbone architecture of our attention model is based on UNET, which is used as a baseline. The global loss of the post attention net is defined as the sum of each lesion branch loss, namely LPZ and L lesion. Each branch loss is a sum of a weighted dice loss and the weighted cross-entropy. Our model was trained and validated on a heterogeneous dataset of 98 patients scheduled to undergo radical prostatectomy. It corresponds to 132 lesions of the 5 Gleason score group. Performance of prostatention net was evaluated given two tasks. The first one evaluates its ability to discriminate clinically significant cancer from non-cancer lesions or normal tissue. The second one evaluates its ability to discriminate lesions of each Gleason score group. Evaluation was conducted on the whole patient's 3D volumes, each constituted of 24 transverse slices, including slices without visible prostate or without lesions annotation. This figure shows performance of our model for clinically significant cancer detection in comparison to the UNET. Prostatention net achieves around 76% sensitivity at 2.5 false positive per patient, while UNET reaches around 66% sensitivity at the same rate. The green curve shows performance if we consider only slices containing at least one lesion instead of the whole 24 slices volume. Within this evaluation setup, we can reach a sensitivity of 60% at one false positive per patient, which is on par with the state of the art. Both tables here compare UNET and prostate net performance at Gleason score group level. We can observe that our model outperforms UNET in terms of sensitivity, and it has also a higher Kappa score. Here are some visual results for example patients. From left to right, transverse slices with ground truth lesions in different color here, followed by the predicted segmentation maps for UNET and for prostatension net. Our model enables a more accurate prediction of cancer grade and avoids false positive detection outside of the prostate peripheral zone. In conclusion, our model allows to segment lesions by Gleason score group and outperforms UNET. In perspective, we plan to include additional lesions and patients and to study other losses. Thanks for your attention.